This is Twit. Coming from my particular angle, one of the things I want to talk about is Git, GitHub, Git Labs, and security. You know, there have been some uh, notable cases, not tons, but some notable cases of people either keeping malware uh, in a Git repository, uh, people uploading infected uh, components. So in response, we have tools that allow you to scan components for malware to uh, do some reliable, you know, static checking to do all kinds of things while it's in the repository. So Mm -hmm. I guess one of my questions to you is how much should a repository do to ensure the security, stability, reliability of the code within the projects or, or should a repository like Git logically be absolutely agnostic, you know, put up your code, whatever, you know, if, if your code goes out and stomps baby ducks, that's fine with us. Code is code. What, what's, what's the right take on that? That's a great question. And yeah, I think, I think it's been, you know, something that's been changing, especially as Git has become, you know, this ubiquitous way that we use, we collaborate on code. Right. And so it's become like there's not really a lot of use. I mean, there's there are other source code tools that exist, but really Git is kind of the universal source code tool we're using now. And as that's come to be and as, you know, like I said, GitLab kind of focused on a wider look at the entire DevOps lifecycle. I think it's become very clear both from that and from, you know, the universal acceptance that, hey, we're going to have a lot of open source libraries in whatever software we're writing. And we're going to be pulling those in, whether it's, you know, from the NPM registry or from Maven registries, you know, we're going to have software that is part what our enterprise has written and part what someone else has written because we're bringing in the best of open source. So those two things converging um, lead to exactly what you're talking about, Kurt, which is, you know, how can we make sure that that code that we're writing and consuming is secure? And that's why we're seeing this huge consolidation in industry where both GitHub and GitLab are looking at, and, and others are looking at, you know, the entire DevOps platform and not just source code management, but what happens after, you know, we've committed our code? Uh, how do we ensure that that code is going to be secure? How do we know that the dependencies we're bringing into our environments, right, are secure? How do we know just what those dependencies are, right? The concept of a uh, digital bill of materials, right? These kinds of things that we talk about in typical industrial supply chain management are really just as critical now for us as software supply chain managers. And and this is something that enterprises everywhere are struggling with and why we've seen, you know, a huge influx of, of users and our enterprise users focused on those security tools. And, and like you said, it's not just static code analysis, it's dependency analysis. It's as we move with containers, it's container analysis. You know, containers for those uh, that don't know exactly how those are composed, you know, there's many layers that make up those containers. So we should scan each of those layers and understand what's in them, right? So as we're bringing in all of these uh, dependencies that are both inside and outside our enterprises, we have to understand where those are coming in and if there's a uh, vulnerability in them, how we can mitigate that. 